right, now this is a car I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. This is very unique. So tell me what this is. This is a 2021 Ford GT. Now Ford made 1,350 of these vehicles. And to get this car, you had to actually uh, do a video of why you should have one. Uh, this car came out, uh, the original car came out back when it was this whole movie Ferrari, uh, Ferrari, Ford vs Ferrari. Uh -huh. And the Ford GT was part of it. So they redesigned this car for the newer generation. And to get this car, you had to tell them why. Some people had the original one, that was the reason why. Some people uh, said, hey, I'll take it to cars and coffee. Some people said, I'm, I'm gonna put it on a track. So many different reasons. Allegedly, there was maybe 20,000 applications that they said, uh, and they only accepted 1,350. The first one I ever seen was Michael Strahan. Ah, Michael Strahan had one of the, the first original ones, and I just remember seeing his and just loving the car. He could barely even fit in the car because the seats don't move. Mm. So once you get in, the seats don't move. Now the steering wheel will go back and the pedals could go back, but the seat stands exactly how it is. It's not the sexiest car to get into, but once you're in it, this is this is a mean car. This does zero to 60 in three seconds, 660 horsepower. And what most people don't know is that this is a V6. Oh. So it's not a V8, it's not a V12. This is a V6 under the engine and this car, car moves. When Ford did this car, there was many collections. So, and this was the most limited edition, which is the studio collection. Studio collection comes with the graphics and these are not stickers, these are actually paint. So if you feel it, it's not a sticker, it's actually paint the way they did this. So this whole car is painted like this and all these designs are actually painted. They only made 20 and when you get this from Ford, you don't get an option of what car you want. You can't say, I want the Heritage Collection. They tell you what you want. Mm. So uh, this was probably one of the most expensive additions. This one was about $695,000. And Ford, any car that they make, they want you to put down at least half. So you have to put down at least half deposit to purchase the car. And all these cars were built out in Canada. So the cool things about this is, of course, one, the doors open up. This is what the kids love. The kids love when these doors go up. Uh, we had to do a couple of modifications on this car. One was we had to actually put a, a vent in the front because when you drive it, the rocks all go through here and you hear the rocks when you're driving. Bing, 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 and it just annoys the shit out of you. So Ford makes you sign a contract that you have to keep this car for two years. If you sell it, less than two years, you'll get fined. They'll sue you and they'll take the car back. We've seen that with a wrestler. Oh, well, John Cena. I John actually Cena. Looked, up the, looked up the article. You know, since you mentioned it, John Cena bought one of these and then flipped it right away. Right. And then got sued by Ford. Correct. And he had to settle. And then Ford took the car back. Oh, and they took the car back they on top of it. took the car back, yes. Okay. Yeah, so Ford is very, like, they're very, put like this, they hold the title for two years. Uh. So even if you oh, pay the they car, have the actual title, so yes. you can't even legally sell it. No. So he didn't actually leave. even sell it. Well, I think with I mean, his He tried case, to sell it, but didn't I actually sell it. I think with his case, that was beforehand. And I think it's one of those things that says, okay, well, we have to protect ourselves a little oh. better. So right now, Ford actually has a lien on the title for two years. And then after the two years is up, they take the lien off. But I think in that case, that was before they did that. Uh-huh. And that was the reason, probably one of the reasons why. But this is probably one of my favorite cars. Very rare. You never see it anywhere. Okay, so you've gotten $1.3 billion offers for this Correct. car. But you haven't taken it. I haven't taken it, no. Do you think you'll actually take an offer for this at one point? I don't know. I'm a car collector. This is one of the cars. I like having cars that nobody has. And this is one of those vehicles. This is, you're not going to see this at a, a, a rally. You're not going to see this at a car show. So I really love this car. But... You know, it's like anything else is you have these assets for one day for you to sell and, and your kids to be great. Or maybe my kids, my daughter, my son might love this. But for right now, this car just stays in the collection. And every time I bring it to a car show, people love this car. I mean, people say that cars are bad investments because as soon as you drive it off the lot, the price goes down. But these types of cars, we're talking about really small, limited edition joints. They actually go up in value over yeah, time. Yeah. Well, just, to, just a, I had a 918 Porsche. 918 Porsche, I paid 1.1 for it. Uh, and I sold it pandemic for 1.7. You know the right cars to buy, they will go up in value. It's kind of like knowing the right art to buy. You, yeah. know, you can buy somebody's art and it's worth nothing. But if you buy, buy the right piece, you know, they go up in value. And, and that's how I am with cars. I know the right piece to buy, what right piece to keep, and when to let it go. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, interior. All right, so you look at the interior. First of all, when I talk about this car, this is all carbon. The car is fully carbon. This is all real carbon. This is not a sticker. This is not some of the stuff that you see in some of these other cars. That is real carbon fiber. So the dope thing about this car is, like I said, getting in this car is not sexy. Like, it's not one of those things where, no, it's not sexy at all. You kind of got to sit like this. You got to have your, your, your Megan Thee Stallion squats, knees right. <laughs> you got to get in this way, and then you got to kind of turn this way to get in. Now, that's how you get in the car. So now with this car... Since it wants to be so light, there's not a lot of mechanical things in it. So to actually pull this, you have to pull this 
and that pulls the gas. I don't know if you've seen the gas and the brake. That's how you pull the gas and brake. And if you want it back, you kind of just got to pull it back the other way. So that's how you get the, the, the pedal, the brake and the gas to go back and forward is you pull this little tag right here. So it's not anything else. And that's how you do it. So the seat is very standard. So to pull it, that's how you get the seat out. And this car really has nothing in it. It's just a radio and that's it. Not much luxury. This car is for fast. It's for speed. It's to put on a track. It's to when somebody pulls up on you, you blow the shit out of them. That's what this car is exactly for. And that's what this car does. Um, really not much to the car. Left, right. The modes are pretty simple. Let me show you some cool stuff. So, so like this car goes in V mode. And um, show you. See how it gets low to the ground? So if you look for the car, the car is so low to the ground that when I say you ride the street, it's so aerodynamic. So it goes so fast because the wind is actually blowing over the car. The car is as low as the point. Now, if you look to the ground, now the dope thing about this is when you pops right back up. Yeah, so this car we designed, like I said, Ruta Satuta. So we designed it with white. We wanted it to pop a little bit just to keep the color. Uh, this red was a $35,000 option. So we added red Wait, to wait, the wait, wait. The red paint was a $35,000 option. Yeah, so Ford only offered six colors. Uh, it was white, blue, yellow, black, but red was a color that I wanted and it was a $35,000 option. So to get red on this car was a $35,000 option. To put these uh, white color seats in the car, that was a $20,000 option. Um, yeah. So everything in this car is you have to actually do. And they send you little cute things in the car when you're building it out. And they send you pieces of the leather and things like that, which is pretty cool. And if I ever do sell that car, I have all that for the next buyer that he can have. But it's, it's just stories. Me and my son designed this and that was, it was pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, if it wasn't for my assistant Mercedes, we would have never got this car. So we're pretty grateful. And this is one of the cars that we love. And I know at any given point, I got 1.3, 1.4.